had a mug shot taken. Do you know how that feels? If only she knew. The May 11th episode of Gossip Girl will serve as a backdoor pilot for this show. And uh, there's a storyline happening in that episode between Lily and Serena that reminds Lily of her own uh, initial period of teenage rebelliousness. And uh, the flashbacks will be interwoven into the Gossip Girl episode and lay out that time in Lily's life and those characters. Don't answer. It's a long story between me and Rufus. Wait, you're not showing Rufus that, are you? Well, we agreed to be up front with each other. Up front? Okay, but Mom, it's gonna take him 20 minutes to get through the 90s alone. Yeah, what we know about Lily is that she was she's this upper crust to the manor born uh, woman living on the Upper East Side of New York that uh, she's had multiple husbands. Um, but she seems on the surface of it to be a very, um, you know, a classic Upper East Side kind of woman. But what we know through her romance with Rufus was there was a period uh, in her life where she was like a, a rock groupie photographer living on the back of the tour bus with Nine Inch Nails and, uh, and Jane's Addiction. So um, we know that there's this dichotomy in her, in her character and this is going to sort of explore. It's like her origin story. It's not the story of how Lily met Rufus, the spinoff. So uh, I guess, knock on wood, in like seven years when the 90s rolled around, uh, perhaps you would see Rufus. I would say you have a better chance at seeing uh, some of the parents on the OC as teenagers crossing through the back of uh, the background of their world, you know. Uh, a night where where Lily and Julie Cooper were in the same room or something. Well, we, I guess we know where ultimately she ends up in 2009, but there's a lot of really interesting uh, stories to tell for many, many years leading up to that. We know, we know that any love interest that she meets uh, as a teenager is going to um, set the stage for helping her change and evolve to the point where she'll be ready for the day that she meets Rufus. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> When we were starting the casting process, we always thought about Brittany, uh, Brittany Snow, for the part. Uh, traditionally, uh, in doing these kinds of shows, it's really fun to discover people who haven't done a lot before. Uh, and Brittany has already done her own series, she's been the star of, of uh, movies, you know. Um, but we saw a reel, Stephanie Savage and I saw a reel of her work, where she went from Hairspray, you know, to this really psycho character in Nip Tuck. And when we saw her full range, we were like, who cares if people already know who she is? She's perfect. And we, we pulled out all the stops to convince her to come back to TV. No rich, rich film tool kid rips off me and my girl. Chef, I'm not your girl. Right, she's, she's more like my muse. Wow, sweet hand towels. Ryan's character, he plays a guy named Shep, who is, uh, he's, he's sort of a, he's kind of a love interest in the wings for uh, Lily's sister, Carol. Uh, he's in love with her. And she doesn't quite feel the same way about him. Uh, Carol's played by Kristen Ritter and uh, they have a really fun dynamic together. What happened to the beamer that mom and dad got you? Oh, I sold it. For this? As if I gave it to this guy, he had this really amazing idea. It goes around your waist like a belt, so we can put stuff in it like a purse. Wow. Uh, Lily's got a, an older sister named Carol, who's played by Kristen Ritter, um, who is kind of the black sheep of the family, uh, who left uh, the family to go off to become an actress and is living uh, a little bit more of a hard scrabble life. She's living in the valley. She uh, sold her car, parents beamer to invest in a uh, purse belt business. And uh, she's got all these hopes and dreams. She's, you know, she's a little bit dialed in in like the, that 80s uh, valley punk scene, uh, a world away from, from the world that Lily has grown up in. And so when she finds her sister again, it's a little bit of a, um, of a, of a shock to see how much Carol has changed. You got kicked out of boarding school. You're in jail? I mean, one of the ideas with the show is that we can introduce characters in the in the prequel that you can then see as adults on Gossip Girl or vice versa. Uh, so um, there's also a character in the spinoff named uh, Vander Woodson. And uh, draw your own conclusions. No Doubt will be in the episode. We're very excited. They were amazing. Uh, they are playing uh, an 80s band called Snow Doubt figure that one out. Um, and uh, they did a cover for us of Adam and the Ants, Stand and Deliver, and they're going on the road. They're just uh, reunited and going on tour, uh, and this is the only new song uh, that, they've, that they've recorded. Uh, Stephanie and I have talked a lot about it. It would be fun to get contemporary artists today um, performing as 80s bands, similar to what they did on Britney's last series, uh, American Dreams, which was uh, about 1960s music. So we've talked about it. The music in the episode is going to be great. A lot of a mix of 80 songs that you know and some more, uh, some more obscure stuff that you might not remember.